The following chemical energetics questions related to bond energies and the question states that the standard enthalpy changes of formation of HCl and HI are minus 92 kJ per mole and plus 26 kJ per mole respectively. So the enthalpy changes of formation, let me, this, and he's talking about the standard enthalpy changes of formation of both HCl and HI. I'm going to write them down. The standard enthalpy change of formation of HCl is when you form one mole of HCl is formed from its constituent elements which are going to be hydrogen and chlorine uh, and there would be half moles of chlorine and half moles of H2 according to a balanced reaction. Similarly for HI uh, the standard enthalpy of formation would be when one mole of, one mole of HI is formed from its constituent uh, elements uh, the elements would be hydrogen and it would be iodine and there would be half moles of iodine and half moles of H2. So uh, the values that are given are for HCl the value of the enthalpy of formation that's given is minus uh, 92 kilojoules per mole which is exothermic which means that more energy is released during bond formation than that is absorbed during bond breaking. And for the other one for HI it's uh, plus 26 kilojoules per mole which means that it's overall endothermic which means more energy is absorbed during bond breaking and less energy is absorbed during bond formation, less energy is released during bond formation. So uh, what the question wants us is which statement is most important in explaining the difference. So we need to figure out why the, uh, the enthalpy changes of the two reactions are coming out to be different. Now in both reactions you're breaking a bunch of bonds and you're forming a few bonds. So let's figure out uh, which bonds are being broken and which are being formed. In the case of this first reaction, uh, you're breaking uh, half bonds, half uh, HH bonds and you're also breaking uh, half CLCL bonds. Uh, whereas uh, you're forming the bonds that you are forming are, you're forming uh, one bond of H and CL, so you're forming an HCL bond. Bond formation is going to be uh, exothermic bond breaking is going to be endothermic. So I'm going to write down the energies that are involved during bond breaking. So to break an HH bond, uh, the amount of energy that's needed to break an HH bond is 436 kilojoules per mole and that would be divided by 2 because we just have half molecules of H2. Similarly to break a CLCL bond, the amount of energy that would be needed would be half of uh, 242 according to the data booklet. Uh, and we are forming an HCl bond which means that uh, 431 kilojoules of energy would be released so that would be negative exothermic. These are positive, uh, this, these, this is the energy that's uh, released and uh, absorbed during bond breaking and this is the energy that's released during bond formation. Similarly we can move to uh, this other reaction H2 and I2 reacting to form HI again to break an HH bond you need you absorb 436 you need 436 divided by 2 uh, similarly you're going to break a half uh, molecules of I2 that's 151 and again that would be half of that because we just have half I2 molecules and you're forming an HI bond uh, which means that 299 joules of energy would be released and that would be negative now we need to uh, we need to explain the overall difference in the energies the, the enthalpy change of the reaction uh, that's the overall energy, that's going to be the sum of this or, and the sum of this. This is going to give you the overall energy. Now, now as you can see, in both cases you're breaking the HH bond. Uh, you're breaking an HH bond over here and you're breaking an HH bond over here as well. So that is not a factor in explaining the difference because in both cases it's going to be exactly the same. So let's get rid of that, that's not a factor. Now the main difference is coming because in the first case you're breaking a CLCL bond, in the second case you're breaking uh, an iodine iodine bond and the bond energy if you take half of that that would be equal to if I take half of uh, 242 that's basically 121 so that's basically the amount of energy that's uh, needed to break a CLCL bond in the first reaction and in the case of iodine that would be 75.5 uh, so as you can see the difference between 121 and 75.5 is not very large now in both cases the uh, the bonds that you're forming are also different in case of HCl 
the energy that's being released is minus 431 and the, in the case of HI the energy that's being released is minus 299. Now the difference between these two is a lot. It's a lot compared to the difference between the bond breaking part. That's not that much. So the main difference in the overall enthalpy change is mainly because of the energy difference uh, uh, when you're forming bonds. The difference between minus 431 and the difference between minus 299 is very very large. So this is the main difference in explaining uh, why the overall enthalpy change, changes are coming out to be so different. So the correct option according to this is that uh, the main difference is not because of the CLCL bond or the II bond. Uh, the difference between their bond energies is not that much. The main culprit in uh, causing the overall difference in enthalpy changes is going to be the bonds of HCl and HI. So according to this uh, logic, option C would be the correct option, which is that the bond energy of HI is quite small compared to the bond energy of HCl, which is true that it, the difference in the bond energies is very large. So this is the main reason why the overall enthalpy changes are coming out to be different. So C is the correct answer, uh, option. We can uh, look at the uh, and comment on the other options as well. If you look at option A, chlorine is more electronegative than iodine. Now that uh, has nothing to do with bond energies or explaining the enthalpy changes uh, of the reaction. Similarly, uh, the actuation, actuation energy for the H2 and Cl2 reaction is much less than that of the H2 and I2. Now actuation energy is the energy that's needed initially. We're not talking about the actuation. We're dealing with the overall enthalpy change. So the actuation energy is not going to be very useful in explaining the changes in the overall enthalpy change. Uh, similarly, the last one is the bond energy of I2 is smaller than the bond energy of Cl2, although that's true, but that's not causing uh, the difference between the two values is not very large. So although uh, option D is also true, but the question, if you read the question above statement carefully, it says, which statement is most important in explaining the difference in the overall enthalpy changes and that should be option C. So option C is going to be the correct option for this question.